And you take your seats and it's time to find the real you. Amen. Majority of us in here, amen, just humanity in general, um, is basically the sum total of our overall experiences. Amen. Um, our background, our cultural influence, um, the things that we have encountered and went through in life, uh, it contributes to the overall person that we become, the person that who we are now. Amen. It also uh, greatly affects our perspective. Please say perspective. Uh, some of the things that uh, we have seen and some of the things that we been exposed to, uh, it affects our perspective tremendously. Uh, when I say perspective, I, what I mean is how we see, view, and relate to the world around us. Come on, say it again. Perspective. What is perspective again is how we see, view, and relate to the world around us. Amen. And, and we are the sum total of our past experiences. Amen. But the problem is, many of us, we become a product product of our past. Glory to God. But just because you are a product of your past, don't mean you should be imprisoned by your past. Amen. Your past contributed to who you are, but your past does not determine your overall destiny. The divine will of God is what determines your destiny. And the problem with many of us, we begin to try to identify and find out who we are based on what we've been through or what we're going through at the moment. We look for significance in our surroundings. And glory to God, anytime we find ourselves in difficult situations, we think that we are what we're going through. Mm -hmm. We think that we are our struggle. We have the tendency to personalize our struggle and make our struggles ourselves rather than just something temporarily that I'm going through. Look at somebody say, I'm going through it. It's a process, but glory to God, my problems uh, are not who I am. They do not identify me. My struggle does not identify who I am. And the problem is, many of us, we get so lost in our struggle, we get so lost in our perspective that glory to God, we begin to become very negative because of the negative things that we have encountered in our life. I want to give you a definition of what's, what it means to be pessimistic. Uh, pessimistic is a person who habitually sees or anticipates the worst or sees everything from a negative perspective. If a person is pessimistic, it means that they are negative by nature. And generally, they're negative by nature because life has taken them through so many things that it's hard for them to see anything positive. And because they are pessimistic in nature, their perspective has the tendency to be affected by their problems and their negativity. They see everything around them negative, including themselves. When they look in the mirror, they glory to God, they can no longer see the person with potential, with power, with purpose. But now all they see is their struggles and their negativity and their problems. Mm -hmm. Look at somebody say it's time to find the real you. Mm -hmm. I want to bring your attention to this text because the, uh, the Bible says that uh, 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 it's like the, the man who is a hearer of the word and not a doer. It's like a man observing. Please say observing. Because I want to talk to you about observation. When I talk about observation, I'm not talking about glory to God just looking but I'm talking about to carefully watch and study attentively for the purpose of learning or education. In other words when I look in the mirror I'm not just looking at me, I'm looking in me. Mm -hmm. I'm studying myself, trying to find the qualities and the potential and those things that God has so, so, has, so has intricately placed down on the inside of me. Many of us, we have been so traumatized by life that we can no longer stand in the mirror and look at us and look at ourselves. We glance at ourselves and keep moving. Because a lot of the time the pain is so intense that we don't even like to make eye contact with ourselves. So we'll wash our face and keep it moving. But when was the last time that you really looked in the mirror, not at yourself, but in yourself? Because God 
told me to tell you that this is the season and the time for you to find the real you. Because many of you in here, the person that you present to the public is not the real you. It's the you you created to survive your struggle. It's the you you created to get over some stuff. It's the you you created to be able to heal and function because of the hurt and the things that you endured. It's the you you created. Glory to God, look at somebody said just to get by. But that was never the person that God intended you to be. It was a survival technique that your body psychologically came up with to get over the hurt and the pain and the disappointment. But God said that's why I want you to start looking in the mirror because I want you to look further than what you're going through, further than your struggle, and I want you to see the person that I created in my own image. It is time to find the real you. Somebody say it's in there somewhere. Uh huh. Glory to God. The Bible says that it's like a man, according to James, first chapter, two, verse 23. He says, For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he's like a man. The word like there indicates a comparison. He is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. Somebody say, Look in the mirror. Mm hmm. The Bible says, for he observes, once again, observation, not just to look or watch, but it's to carefully watch and study attentively for the purpose of learning or educating. In other words, when I look at myself, I'm studying myself because sometimes we have the tendency, listen to me, to get lost in life. Remember who you used to be for that before that situation happened to you. Remember, glory to God, the faith level that you once used to operate and function in. 